Uh, today we're going to mark a powder coated tumbler. You see that we've got the tumbler installed on our three jaw chuck rotary. This is kind of a unique rotary device. It allows us with those extended jaws to go up to a four inch diameter marking in this machine. Uh, with the rotary installed, we're going to use the F-Theta 163 lens, which gives us the four inch marking field. Uh, so we've got the rotary installed. I'm just going to go through a focus function. You can see that we've got uh, the red dot pointer here, the crosshair. So I'm going to raise the gavel platform up until that red spot intersects the uh, center of the crosshair. Um, there we're good on the focus. And so I'll turn the focus off and we're basically ready to go at the machine. Now we'll go over to the software and we'll take a look at what we're doing over there. We've got a graphic setup in here that we're going to engrave on that powder coat or tumbler. Uh, I've got the, my space here, my page in Corel Draw 4x4. Uh, again, with the G100, it's really unique in that you can run this with a lot of different software programs. We're using Corel Draw. You could use Adobe Illustrator, Sign Lab, Engrave Lab, InDesign, Inkscape, really any kind of a graphic software will work. I'm gonna do some manipulation of the graphic in our software. Uh, so I've just got it generally set up how I want it to look on that tumbler. And so now I just go to file and print, and then I'm going to print to the epilogue engraver. Uh, here we're gonna get camera view. We can see our graphic there. We see the tumbler as well. Here's our four inch space that we're gonna be working in. I wanna rotate this of course. So I'll select the graphic and I'm gonna rotate that by 90 degrees. And I'm gonna resize it a little bit in this environment as well. I'm going to use our center engraving feature here. So that looks pretty good. I like the look of that. I might move it up a little bit. So once I got the graphic located where I want, I'm going to go into the advanced tab. I'm going to select the rotary on. Here I'm going to put in the diameter of that tumbler. This one's three inches. Uh, and this uh, page width and height that corresponds to the marking field uh, in our Galbo system with the F Theta 163 installed. I'm also going to select a centering point. I'm going to have the top of that graphic. Actually, I'm going to select center center. So in our graphic, uh, the center of the graphic right here is gonna, where the uh, mark is going to be when I set that red dot pointer at the machine. I'm also going to import some laser parameters uh, for the powder coated tumbler. These are all already preset, so I just import that. You'll notice that when we turn the rotary on, it takes away camera view. Uh, it's really handy to use the center engraving feature like we just set here when you're doing any sort of rotary work. And then we'll need to, again, select our location at the machine. So I'm going to print this over. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this Indian. And then we're going to print that over to the machine. And then we'll set a new home position at the laser and then we'll let it run. So let's set up that home position. We're going to use that with the joystick control. You'll see that we've got the red spot illuminating on the part. And I'm going to move that over uh, to where I want that to be the center of my graphic. That looks pretty good there. I'm going to hit centering point on the display panel and then done. And then we're ready to run the job. So we'll uh, just get it going here. Put the start button, the door's gonna come down and then the job's gonna start. You'll notice that the rotary turned back because we've got the centering point halfway. And so it's gonna go halfway through the graphic and then start the engraving. I've got this set up to do two passes. The first pass with powder coat typically removes the powder coating and then the second pass will come back through and clean it up a little bit and give us a nice bright shiny look. When the job finishes, the door automatically opens. And there's our engraved part. I'm gonna rotate this around so you can see it a little bit better. Nice bright white mark on there. I'll take it out of the rotary now. And I like to give a, a little clean on the powder coated materials with the blue material or the um, Mr. Clean sponge works really well on these too. Just a little final cleaning on those. I'm going to turn this rotary around so you can see how this is designed. Again, the long jaws on here allow us to accommodate up to four inch diameter with this. Uh, so these pins in here, you can re remove and then replace to different distances to accommodate different diameter parts. This rotary is kind of unique in that we can remove this head and install a ring rotary device in its place. This is really nice for engraving on the inside of the outside of rings. This has a spring loaded 
mechanism that allows us to uh, fixture on the inside of the part or the outside of the part. We'll show this in a subsequent video. To remove the rotary, we're gonna power the machine off. You'll notice that the door stays open. We have some magnets on the door that keep it open for you to, uh, that allows you to remove the rotary. So we'll pull this out and then we'll reboot the machine. And that's it. Powder coated tumbler engraving with the G100.